Hello Ratbags, it's Jade with another Assassin's Creed guide today, taking you through all of the weapons and the armour pieces that you can find in Ledger's Assassin's so I really have trouble saying that one, apart from the Huntsman gear. Now the Huntsman gear is spread out over Leicestershire and Grantsbridgeshire, so I've got a separate video showing show you encasing all of that. But otherwise, I'm going to show you how to get the Hidden One gloves today. I'm going to show you how to get a really fantastic axe, one of the best. Also, a kite shield and a lot more. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If you find my guides useful, please leave me a like. Leave a comment if there are any you think I might have missed. Let's go. Every weapon and armour piece in Leicestershire that you can find. Directly north of Grants Bridge, along the side of the coastline here, you will find a small little village called Urtbeck or Urbeck. This is going to have the house carls axe in it. There's at least 8 to 10 guards here, so you may want to bring your crew, otherwise you can do it pretty stealthily. This also is the location of one of the hidden ones. You need to assassinate these guys to progress that storyline and get access to North America. So it's well worth visiting this place to do two jobs at once. Get the house carl's axe and obviously take out the hidden one. I pretty much used my mark for death, which I'd upgraded two times. You can go check out the video showing you the location of both of them abilities. And then I took out the final target here, and it's pretty simple. Don't forget to confirm the kill though, make sure you go in for the final blow. So once you've done that you see the hut in the middle and this is pretty much where you're going to be heading. You can take out some of the outlining enemies around, make it nice and easy. You'll also come across a guard with a key but I'm not too sure what that unlocks because you can get into the room without one, you don't need a key it's for the central big massive hut there. So with all the guards taken out, I went ahead and just went straight through the alarm and here is the House Carl's Axe, which in my opinion is one of the better axes you can get early game. It basically gives you a 10 attack damage multiplier. You can pretty much keep hitting people up to 10 times and each hit will get stronger and stronger. So really good for crowd control, particularly when you've got so many enemies around you. Let's go and get ourselves a brand new shield, the Kite Shield. This is going to be in Wandry, which is kind of in the southwest from the Grantsbridge capital. Follow the river south and you'll come along it very easily. It's a pretty quaint, nice little farming village. Here there's lots of guards though, so you can do this a little bit more stealthily by putting your hood up, which I have not really mastered yet. I don't know if I should be pressing the button or I just missed it, but man, these guys are spotting me no matter what I do. You may want to consider taking out the warning bell, the alarm bell here by shooting at it. This will stop reinforcements being called because I definitely had a bit of an issue where multiple enemies kept respawning. I must have gone through maybe 10 or 15 enemies through what apparent amounts to just like a little village. But once you've cleared all the enemies away, you can simply then just go into the hut and pick up your nice brand new shield. There's even a window you can just jump in so you don't need any keys or anything. There is a couple of carbon ingots in this village, you'll get one from killing one of the enemies and the other one by going through one of the chests in the, one of the buildings nearby. So I'm not particularly adept at time in my defences or parries, I much prefer just holding down and this is what you can do with the kite shield, holding down on the defence is going to increase your heavy damage output once you release. So I think this is going to be very good for taking on much higher elite enemies. You'll also find a well that if you break it open, there'll be a key at the bottom and that'll get you access to another building next door to it. I was a bit disappointed though that the loot was only some runes and some just normal iron and leather. If you head slightly south or west of Ravensthorpe, eventually you'll come to a place called Offchurch, just on the borders of the Leicestershire on the south. It's quite a few men round here, soldiers, but it is fairly easy to pick this them all off. Outside there is a tomb entrance and I couldn't get into it and it was starting to frustrate me. It looked like this was the entrance, but this is going to be part of the exit when Need the story the is side. done. So you won't be hitting this until the story when you get to that point. Instead, we're going to be entering some of the crypts via the central church way. Now you can hide around and take out some of the enemies here, but again, get high and you should be able to get a drop on pretty much everyone around you. Now you can go straight down the main church, there's an entrance way that will take you down and there are some guards down below or you can go straight off to the left and there's this little building here. This will also give you another way to get down to the crypts. On the right hand side you'll notice there's a little crate blocking off a small entrance way. You can take out one of the guards by just firing because he's usually doing the patrol and then you have to maybe go through and take out the next one. Once that's done keep going down the stairways and you've got different directions you can go. 
If you go the right way, you will find the ability as well as a carbon ingot. I'm going to include that as part of my video for all the abilities in Leicestershire. But just to give you a heads up, that carbon ingot is inside a second tiny little crypt that you need to crawl through. And on the far side of the room, you'll find another small anti-crypt. This is where you're going to get the ability. This one is the focus of the Nornir and it pretty much speeds up time for you or slows down time for you I should say and you can pretty much pull off a bunch of shots while moving quickly so it's a really good one I can't wait to try this one out. Head back to the junction and follow the path the opposite way now and you'll find a guard looking at a wall that you can throw some explosive jars at. These will be in the same room so it shouldn't be too hard to spot. It reveals a small room that's flooded and at the bottom of here is the new spear. The third spear. Don't forget also there is one more armor piece here and it's a pretty special one but you'll only get that when you complete parts of the story. The third spear gives you better dodging or more speed when dodging with it. It's definitely something good for moving around and being a bit more agile. To the northwest of Raven's Thorpe, you will find Venonin. It's a ruins, a Roman ruins, and it's got quite a bit in it. It's got a brand new shield. It's obviously got an ability, and there's plenty of carbon ingots here too. There's a huge, great big building that seems in, almost impenetrable to get into. There's one door at the front that you can't open, and there's no other seemly way to get in. However, you do need to use your bow and arrow to get in this building. Climb to the top of the building and then go along the zip lines or wires until you get to the second platform. You'll also find a little bit of little loot here and then you're going to zip line across onto the next one. Once you've done that you should be able to see through the little slats here in just this little bit of a wall and you're going to be aiming for the other side of the doorway mechanism so that you can get in through the front door. Now I've got Mark for Death and I've got the second upgrade for it. Go and check out them videos if you haven't seen that already. So I could literally just aim and target all the enemies in here. And I could take them out with just one good pull. Climb scaffold in and here you go. You've got the half Rillian Guard, which is obviously another shield. It's a light shield from the Raven family and it's going to pretty much increase your speed when blocking up to five times. It's definitely good if you're using a light melee weapon alongside it as a shield. One of the few bows that you can find in Leicestershire is Scandi's Wrath. This will be found in Leicestershire, the actual capital town itself, inside a church. Now there's a few things going on inside Leicestershire. You can find one of the hidden bureau targets in this location directly opposite, so you might as well take care of that while you're here. Then it's into the church itself where there will be a couple of guards. This shouldn't be too problematic as long as you don't alert any that's guarding the entrances, you should be able to take out at least one of them to get inside and then just hide behind some pillars and use your arrows or try and get a bit higher and take them out from above. On one side of the church you'll find a ladder going up to a wooden platform. You can go ahead and break this and then just jump down into that cellar. And not too far away, round the corner, down the cellar, you'll find Scaldi's Wrath, or Scandi's Wrath. Uh, it's not the greatest bow, in my opinion. It gives more critical damage when you're hitting vulnerable parts. So yes, very good for headshots, but generally, a lot of the enemies you come across, their weak parts are like their legs or their arms. I find them pretty hard to aim at, some of them. So it's good, I suppose, if you can really nail it, getting them shots off, you'll do a lot of damage with it. But yeah, I don't think it's necessarily that worth it. Sticking within Leicestershire, this is the last item we're going to be taking a look at. It's the gauntlet of the hidden one, and it's pretty much just to the east of exactly that church, just here. In the on the ruins, you'll find a assassin's symbol, and it's literally pointing at where you need to go or what you need to do. Take aim at the ballast, and it will open up a entranceway onto the scrolls rooms. It's really not too taxing. Just crawl under a few of these. And you'll then have the Hidden One Gloves. These are very powerful for assassin style playthrough. You just obviously need to find the rest of them. And they're pretty scattered all around the country though. So it's going to be a while before you have that complete set. You'll increase assassination damage when crouched and undetected for 10 seconds. And then when you've got the complete set, you'll get increased damage to headshots. But obviously it's part of the bureau investigations as well so it'll help with that order stuff too 
there we go. That is every single weapon and armor piece that you can find in Leicestershire. I've left out some of the ones that you can buy from the trader and your blacksmith when you've set up, as it's pretty obvious that you can just get them. And lastly, the separate video that's coming is going to be about all the huntsman gear, how you can get all of it. And some of it's in Leicestershire, some of it is in uh, Grantsbridge Shire. So I'll show that in a separate video. But there you go, guys. I hope this has been useful. If it has, leave me a like. Make sure you subscribe to go and check out all my other Assassin's Creed guides. And I'll see you rat bags later.